Hi guys, this is Iko from Toolmuse.com and today we're having a quick look at Mailshake. Mailshake is a sweet new tool that came out that helps you do, I would say, smarter email marketing. So what I mean by this is that if you send out an initial email to people, what Mailshake allows you to do is to set up follow-up emails based on the responses to that initial email. Here's an example. Let's say some people do not open the initial email you sent out, right? So X numbers of days later, you might just want to follow up with them and say, hey, I know you're super busy, come check this out. To the people who did open your email and let's say maybe click the link that's in it, then what you might want to do with them specifically is to send them a thank you follow up email. So Mailshake allows you to do all of this and it's incredibly simple to use. So let's have a quick look at it together to see how it could be helping out your business. So in this quick demo, what I'm doing is that I'm importing some contacts and here is the heart of Mailshake. So you'll see this is where I can compose my main email sent to everyone. In this case, let me use a template that I had pre-composed. So as you notice, I'm shouting out the people's first name. I've also added a URL link right there and images. And you'll see Mailshake also has tons of different templates that you can use. When you're using a template, you can also modify it, right? So in this case, let me remove that image to make it a bit less uh, corporate and a bit more friendly. So you'll notice the three buttons below, this is where the magic happens. So these are the different actions that can get triggered based on users' behaviors. Scenario number one is to add a reply. So this is a reply that gets sent to everyone after X number of days that the initial email was sent. And in this case, you can also select a specific time unless we receive a reply or an open. So let me select an open because what I want to do is that I want to nudge anyone who did not open my initial email, right? I just want to send them a friendly reminder and there you go, this is set up, right? So the other thing that can be done, scenario number two, is to add a behavior based on clicks. So what I'm doing in this case is if someone clicks on toolmuse.com, which was in my initial email, after again, set number of days and a specific time, I will send them this email, right? So these are just examples, but I think you get that very quickly you can build a strategy using Mailshake and really adapt it to your business needs. Clicking next, what happens is that Mailshake starts generating previews for each email that has been composed. So prior to composing emails, I had uploaded a dummy spreadsheet with three different recipients. So you could see I could browse here through the recipients. But so starting with David, remember that first email said, hey, first. So now I can validate that everywhere where I was calling out David's first name, it actually got replaced by his first name, right? The other thing that I can do in this view and that I find amazing is that you can customize the email. So this is where I can add a touch of warmth and instead of just, you know, saying, hey, email and jumping into the topic, no, let me say, hey, David, I hope that you and Sierra have been well. And then just add, you know, a bit of warmth to the email, which can make a whole world of difference when you're sending out mass emails like this. When you click next, this is it. You just have a few sending options to select from and you are done. So instead, let me show you a campaign that I did send out previously. And this is what the dashboard looks like, right? So this was a real campaign that I sent out to 207 people that were on my mailing list. So at the top, you've got your core numbers, at the bottom, your recent activity. Mainly, I made a full video about this email campaign because what I've realized is that my, e my email inbox got completely flooded because I did not know my email sending limits. So in order to avoid this to happen to you as well, make sure to have a quick look at this video. I'll add the URL in the video description right below. So one more stats view that Mailshake offers you is the last 30 days. And this merges all your campaigns that have been going on, right? So in my case, I only have one, but if I would have had many, I would see the overall results of all my campaigns here. This is it for the quick overview of Mailshake. I hope this was useful and I'd love to hear about your experience using it. So don't hesitate to add it in the comments. Also, come on toolmuse.com. This is where all entrepreneurs share their favorite tools. So tell us what do you like, dislike about Mailshake, and if you do like it, come and upvote it. Finally, if you like this video, thanks for clicking like below.